I think I read in one, some magazine where um, um, Angelina was saying that you all, as a family, is the greatest thing you all have done for your lives. Yeah, I, as I say, it's, a, it's the greatest thing I've ever taken on. I, I, I can't imagine life without it. Brad Pitt has just been awarded joint custody of his children with Angelina Jolie. And it's been alleged that Angelina will be appealing the judge's rule and continue to fight for full custody of their six children. Divorce is an ugly thing. When you have kids and you add custody war into that mix, it becomes even more hideous. Unfortunately, in the world of Hollywood, divorces tend to be a public matter that's gobbled up by the press. One question we'd all like to ask is how are their kids? Amongst all the chaos their divorces ensued, how are their children really doing? Stick around while we take a deep dive into the lives of Angelina and Brad's kids. Remember to subscribe to Rumor Juice and hit that notification bell too. Things weren't always like this for Brad and Angelina. There was a time when the pair seemed happier than ever, and their family didn't seem to stop growing. However, Angelina was well on her way to starting a family of her own before she met Brad. In fact, it was while she was still married to her second husband, Billy Bob Thornton, that she adopted her first son, Maddox. He was just seven months old when Jo Lee chose to become his mother and brought him home with her from Cambodia. Unfortunately, the actress and Billy Bob split three months following Maddox's adoption. It seemed while she wanted to grow their family, Billy wasn't interested in having any more children. Because we're actors, we go away for months at a time, and you grow and change separately. I think one day we just had nothing in common, and it's scary, but I think it can happen when you get involved and you don't know yourself yet. Angelina admitted about their relationship. She raised Maddox alone until 2006, when Pitt was appointed as his adoptive father. The couple had already made it official to the public in 2005 when they were spotted together on a blissful holiday in Kenya. However, it was clear that what was happening between them was more than just a summer fling, but something serious because Brad stepped up and chose to adopt Maddox himself too. There were rumors following the announcement of their divorce in 2016 that Maddox had a strained relationship with Pitt after an alleged altercation on his private plane. The details of what happened on the plane have never been discussed, and Joe Lee has repeatedly chosen not to comment about the incident. However, it was serious enough to get the FBI involved, and it was all reportedly caught on camera. An insider reported, Brad is seen yelling a lot during it, but nothing physical. Brad got drunk and was fighting with Angie. Maddox stepped in to defend Angie and got in Brad's face. It was then reported that Pitt was under investigation after allegedly becoming physically and verbally abusive toward Maddox while wasted aboard the plane. Sources close to the couple claim that this incident led to Joe Lee filing for divorce. Perhaps things between the two parents had been strained for some time, but once it began to involve the children, that was when the actress drew the line. Maddox worked with his mother on the film First They Killed My Father, a historical thriller about a five-year-old child soldier in Cambodia. Joe Lee co-wrote and directed the film while Maddox was the executive producer. In 2019, Maddox moved to South Korea for college, studying biochemistry. When he was asked if his father would come to visit him in Seoul, Maddox said, I don't know about that. Is your relationship with him sort of over or? Well, whatever happens, happens. Brad had always had a close relationship with his son, and the plane incident ended up causing a rift between them. The actor has been making an effort to mend things with Maddox, but it's been reported that his son hasn't been very responsive. The distance has been difficult for Pitt to process. During court procedures for the couple's divorce, Maddox addressed the court as an adult. An insider revealed, it wasn't very flattering toward Brad, he doesn't use Pitt as his last name on documents that aren't legal and instead uses Joe Lee. Maddox wants to legally change his last name to Joe Lee, which Angelina has said she doesn't support. Maddox, now 19 years old, moved back to the US later in 2020 to stay with his mother and continue his studies online so that he could spend more time with the family. During the pandemic, all six children were living with Joe Lee at her house in Los Angeles, and Brad was seen visiting from time to time. 
Zahara Marley Jolie Pitt was the next to be adopted in 2005 from Ethiopia by Jolie, and Brad formally adopted her a year later. Today, she's 16, but she was just six months old when she joined the growing family. She had been abandoned by her birth mother when Zahara developed health issues as a baby, and her mother couldn't afford to take care of her. Zahara also had a small voice role on Kung Fu Panda 3, along with some of her other siblings. She also launched her own jewelry line, which she wore on the red carpet for the premiere of Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. All proceeds from her jewelry sales went to shelters for victims of domestic violence. Joe Lee revealed in a 2020 Time essay for International Women's Day that Sahara had spent two months in and out of surgeries. However, she didn't go into detail about the medical challenges her daughter was facing. Pitt had also skipped that year's BAFTAs to be with Sahara during her recovery. Shiloh, Joe Lee and Pitt's first biological child, was born in 2006 and is now 15 years old. There was so much press around the couple's pregnancy that they decided to fly to Namibia in order to avoid the intense media. Naturally, the tabloids went bonkers for Brangelina's new baby. In fact, the first photos of Shiloh were sold for $4.1 million, and she became the first ever infant to be immortalized in wax by Madame Tussauds. It seems as though Shiloh has had a lot more media attention as she's grown up, and her parents have faced quite a bit of backlash for their choices. However, Jolie has always stood by and supported her children's choices. From a young age, Jolie explained that Shiloh, quote, wanted to be a boy, so we had to cut her hair. She likes to wear boys everything. She thinks she's one of her brothers. She added in a later interview, she only wants to be called John. John or Peter. Pitt and Jolie appear to have done their best to let their child be who she is. And although gender ideology was obsessively put upon Shiloh by the outside world, the family didn't buy into it. Shiloh's parents just let her be a kid. Jolie said, Shiloh, we feel, has Montenegro style. It's how people dress there. She likes track suits. She likes suits. So it's a suit with a tie and a jacket and slacks, or a track suit. At age 15, Shiloh's personal style is still evolving, and she's not afraid to experiment and change things up. It seems she's undergone quite the makeover while in lockdown, if these new photos are anything to go by. Sporting denim cutoffs, pierced ears, and long locks tied up in a bun, it's a far cry from the gender-bending tomboy outfits Shiloh has sported over the years. Pax Jolie Pitt was the next to join the continuously growing family in 2007. Pax, who is now 17 years old, was born in Vietnam in 2003, where he was abandoned by his biological mother soon after birth. He was adopted by the couple when he was three years old. In 2016, he had a small voice role in Kung Fu Panda 3 along with his sister Zahara. We don't know much else about Pax other than the fact that he's recently begun learning Vietnamese, which he used to speak as a child. Knox and Vivian who were both 12 years old today, were born in 2008. The first photos of them were sold for a whopping 14 million, which was donated to the Jolie Pitt Foundation, and they remain the most expensive celebrity photos ever taken. The fraternal twins are spinning images of their sibling Shiloh. Jolie used the words elegant and delicate to describe her youngest daughter Vivian, who she refers to as Vivi as a girly girl. She likes to get her nails done and loves the color pink. Meanwhile, Knox is just the opposite, according to Joe Lee, who described him then as a tough little dude who likes dinos and swords. In 2014, Vivian starred alongside her mother in Maleficent as the younger version of Aurora. Knox also recorded animal noises for Kung Fu Panda 3. Angelina and Brad announced their separation in 2016 and were declared legally divorced in 2019, but their custody arrangements are still raging years later. Brad is reportedly seeking 50-50 custody of Shiloh and her five siblings. However, Angelina is apparently fighting it tooth and nail, and might even bring the kids into it. While there is a separate file concerning testimony from the former couple's youngest children, both Brad and Ange need to grant permission from the court to involve minors Shiloh, Knox, and Vivian in their divorce proceedings. According to court records, Angelina has filed various documents making it clear that she is willing to offer proof in support of alleged domestic violence. 
Brad has spoken about how he and Jolie have worked together to co-parent their six children. We're both doing our best. I heard one lawyer say, no one wins in court. It's just a matter of who gets hurt worse. It's just very, very jarring for the kids to suddenly have their family ripped apart. There's no doubt that their kids must be feeling the pressure of the divorce. But both Angelina and Brad only have their best interests at heart for their children. When parents go their separate ways, it's never easy on the rest of the family. Fans only hope that the rest of the process goes smoothly and that things soon settle for them all.